Ladies and gentlemen, hello and welcome. My name, of course, is Albert Potato, and here we check out the latest and the greatest strategy games each and every day of the week. Today we're checking out a very interesting city builder indeed called Land Nama. Anyway, it's a Viking sort of, um, I guess, exploration and city builder, kind of a survival game as well. Um, basically, you are constantly competing against the upcoming cold winter. Uh, we're going to jump into things, and as ever, I'm going to do my very best to explain what the heck is happening. Um, we're going to just jump in on uh, the sort of most basic of basic settings, and um, I'll explain what the heck is going on. Uh, when we are here. Arrival. After a long journey across the sea, the clan reached the shores of their new home. Following the coast, they found a strategic location to establish a homestead and prepare for the coming winter. The path to survival was clear. Explore the land and expand their settlements with buildings to increase heart, then upgrade home the homestead as much as possible to stand the test of time. And indeed, that is the case. So, um, first things first, I kind of need to pause and um, kind of explain what the heck is going on here. So, um, we have up at the top here, uh, this bar. Now, it's a very, very simple concept, but it's actually, like, fantastic. So we have this bar. It's a timer up here. Um, this little heart um, symbol indicates when the harvest uh, comes. And so we have a total capacity of up to 10 hearts, you know, 10 harvest tokens. Uh, we've got five at the moment, and each harvest, uh, for the foreseeable future anyway, we're, well, for the upcoming harvest, we're going to get one additional heart. Now, um, our main currency uh, of spending resources is these hearts. So, yeah, we need to do that in order to build buildings. And you can see I've clicked on the uh, the the C tile here. Uh, it's going to cost us four hearts and two turns in order to build. Uh, but there's no there's not really such a thing as a turn because it's constantly progressing. It's only stopped because we're in the menu here. And this is going to yield us an additional heart per harvest. So we are incentivized to try and get as many of these hearts as we possibly can before the end of the timer. Now, at the end of the timer here, as is symbolized and is recognized by this little, I, I don't know, red heart um this is this symbolizes winter so um when winter arrives we're going to lose between one and three hearts which is a terrifying prospect because it means that we need to try and stockpile as much as we possibly can but at the same time we don't want to stockpile too much because if we stockpile too much then we're not going to be able to build stuff and yeah as you can guess uh, as the game goes winter gets harsher and harsher and more miserable and more miserable anyway uh we're going to build this fisherman hut right about here it's the only tile that we have uh, sort of uncovered at the moment. Uh, we do have sort of a special clan trait. Chance to find... That's a quality symbol. Quality... It looks like a Mitsubishi car symbol, but... You know, quality tiles increased by 15%. That's looking good. Now, uh, we've got another alternative objective here. I'm quite happy for the game just to, to sort of expand as we go um, and just sort of over the over the course of time. There is an event that comes up uh, when, this little, uh, when this little marker is hit. There we go. Frozen Shores. Fisherman yield decreased by five hearts. That is freaking, that's bad news because we only have a fisherman. But anyway, we've got enough hearts to survive the winter and we've got another harvest uh, remaining. But yeah, if we have a little look down here, there's a little objective. Uh, this is our homestead here, um, which we can actually upgrade as well. In order to beat the game, that is what we need to do. We need to build ourselves a great hall and uh, we need to upgrade it with hearts. We don't have enough hearts to do that at the present moment, um, but we, we will. Uh, but we also have another few little objectives here. We need to build a pasture, a peat farm, and a woodcutter in order to get that all up and running. Now, uh, what we can also do is we can also explore these tiles. It costs one heart to do so, and it also costs one of our uh, explorers. These are our workers down here. Uh, we've got one explorer, and we've got two builders. Now, depending on what tile uh, there is, we can actually build different things. For example, in the highlands here, uh, we can build... Yield increased for one heart for unbuilt grass woodland tiles. Okay, that's cool. That is fine to note. Uh, buildable only in the highland. That's the hunter. It's going to cost us four, uh, four hearts to do. Now, I could technically do that right now. But if I do that, that would bring me down between that one and three heart threshold. I mean, it would take me down to one heart. And unless we have a very, very, very light winter indeed, um, I, would be, I would be screwed. That's it. Um, I would just immediately die. So we need to wait until the winter is... is is finished before we move into uh, the next phase. Uh, but honestly, that's not necessarily a problem. This Frozen Shores modifier is going to disappear soon. Uh, yeah, Winter's Toll. We've got five hearts. Yeah. The clan proved their strength and survived the harsh winter. Yeah, so we have the a magical, a magical stave reducing Winter's Toll to the minimum. Uh, we can use that. But we want to save that because we only have one remaining, and uh, it's gonna suck if uh, we end up we end up losing because the winters were too harsh. Anyway, uh, we need to try and get some 
We need to try and get some additional stuff. This Frozen Shores modifier really, really sucks. There is, um, there's a whole bunch of buildings that we can actually use to, uh, to minimize those sort of like long-term effects. But I think for now, we're just going to have to, we're just going to have to save. There we go. That's back up to two. That's quite nice. We're still waiting for one more heart in order to get that there. We can start the process of exploring over there as soon as we get that second heart. We will build the hunters. That's cool. Uh, we can't upgrade the fisherman, uh, the fisherman place. We can upgrade this place, which I think I will do. Um, this will increase my heart capacity. Some of the more advanced buildings. Oh, that's quality land. That's wetland. You see that? Quality land, we can build a peat farm here. That is really, really good. That is really, really good. But um, we're actually not going to probably expand it. The hunter's hut has been completed, which is great. But the problem is... The problem is... Uh, we don't actually have the capability to use it because, uh, okay, mysterious illness, construction time increased by 50%. We don't actually have the capability to use it because there is no adjacent um, woodland tiles. Whilst it's great that we've discovered this wetland here, which is really very, very useful indeed, um, it's, it's not great. Now, we're going to be going into this winter with not quite the capacity that I wanted to have. So let's just hope and pray that it's not a harsh winter. It's not a harsh winter. We got pretty lucky there. Um, that's pretty good. Let's save up and get this. Let's save up and get this peatland. I would really, really, really like to get the peatland. Um, but I'd also really like to explore as well. We can actually explore here to try and find an adjacent tile, and then we'll get the peatland anyway. What is this? We got a we got an event happening very early on in the season. Fisherman's yield decreased by five again. Are you freaking kidding me? Oh my lordy. Okay. Well, we got an extra. We got an extra heart there. Let's get this. Let's get this built. Let's get it built as soon as we possibly can. Construction time is, of course, increased by 50%, which is mega annoying because it means that we're not going to be able to get it done before the next harvest. We will have it ready for the harvest after that, though. So that's pretty good. A little bit of a shaky start, but I feel like, yeah, now that we've got the capability to pump out a tremendous amount of a tremendous amount of hearts through to the uh, through the peat farm, that's really, really good. Now, um, on the grassland, for example, we can build a couple of different um, unique buildings. We can build the pasture, which I'm going to try and build on the grassland. But um, I don't think I want to because, yeah, yield increased for one for each unbuilt grassland slash woodland. Yeah, mil um, gives us a maximum of three. I think we want to try and expand as much as we possibly can. Do a little bit of exploration. But again, uh, I want to make sure that I've got this winter covered before I before I do that. We do need to get a pasture. We do need to get a woodcutter. Uh, of course, that is going to reduce my, uh, my output on the hunter front. Oh, my lordy. I have rolled, like, very, very harshly uh, pretty much every single time. But that's okay. That's okay. We've got the real... We've got a real opportunity here. Let's get exploring, and then let's get... Well, we'll just do as much exploring as we possibly can. There we go. That's great. That's really, really nice. Very, very nice indeed. We're actually gonna we're actually gonna cap out. Uh tell you what, let's increase let's upgrade the Great Hall. Let's upgrade the Great Hall because that's gonna mean that we don't end up overdoing it. That is fantastic. Okay, the hunter is officially up and running, which is great. Um, it's got three, three out of three, so we're we're maxed out, or we're gonna be maxed out in terms of uh, in terms of capacity. Two hot-headed members of the clan got drunk and heated. The yells turned fisticuffs. And the chaos was a fire that spread to the buildings they were in. A costly scrap. Ah, that's a shame. <sighs> literally, literally, just as my as my as my fortunes were starting to turn around. Um, I'm not worried about this though, because by the time the hunter's up and running. There we go. We're going to get plus seven, which is really, really nice. This is going to be upgraded, which is going to give us extra capacity. We're now up to 15. That is beautiful. So uh, we can get a woodcutter. I am going to do that. Um, am I going to do it now, though? No, I'm not going to do it now because I'm still going to have the extra capacity uh, going into winter. So, yeah, we will do a little bit more exploration. Let's go and do a little bit more exploration over here. We can still survive that, and I'm pretty happy. Pretty happy with where we are. Please, like, low. Thank you, video game. Thank you, finally, for year four. We finally low, uh, get a nice low roll. Right, so we're gonna get a woodcutter right here. We're gonna try and satisfy this demand as well, because remember, that's gonna give us a little bit of extra... Uh, a little bit of a, a little bit of an extra yield in the homestead, which is very, very nice indeed. What the heck is this? Obsidian. Construction cost decreased by one for six turns. Hey, that's great. That's fantastic. Let's get a pasture right here. Um, since it's so cheap, let's continue to explore. The hunter's hut may end up getting... 
yeah, slightly lower yield, but I'm kind of hopeful that we're going to be able to re-enable uh, re that yield at some point. Besides, the pasture being, um, being in play now uh, is really, really nice. Yield increased by one heart for each unbuilt quality grassland. We don't actually have any quality grassland, but that's okay. Now, um, we are kind of in... Oh my lordy, we've got so much... We've got so much stuff coming in. Let's, I'll tell you what, let's see if we can try and upgrade the homestead. That's a perfect investment. It's an absolutely perfect investment. Beautiful. What have we got? Woodcutter yield decreased by five. Um, that's a bit annoying. It's going to be plus eight, but I mean, you can't really complain about that, can you? I don't think, I don't think we can. My goodness gracious me, we need to build something before the next harvest. I am like actually, I actually need to build something um, because otherwise we're going to go over the top. We could still get unlucky here. When's our... We could still get really, really unlucky here. Let me let me do the maths. Let me do the maths. So we've got eight coming. That's going to be finished before the next harvest anyway. Or is it? No, it's not. I'm going to need to try and spend some of my resources. Is my obsidian tools thing still in the still in the game? I don't think so. Winter's toll decreased by two. I don't think that we're going to manage to do that. Ah. Uh. We've got a few other modifiers as well. Chance to find quality tiles increased by 5%. Homestead yield increased by 1. Let's do that. Let's split the difference. Right. That's maxed us out. Yikes. Uh, we may have to use Winter's Blessing here. Um, if, unless we get super lucky. The good thing is, is that we can res Oh, thank goodness. We can resolve before we before we go next. That was a pretty, that was a pretty nasty winter. But all things considered, it wasn't too bad. Right, woodcutter yield is still decreased. Homestead yield is increased because we built that pasture, which is really, really nice. Uh, what's the next upgrade for the Great Hall? Capacity increased by 15. That would be good if we could get. That would be 20. That'd be 20. Is there anything else that we can that we can build right now? There's utility buildings that we can build. You, um, winter's toll decreased by, decreased by 2. I don't want to build that on quality land if I can avoid it. Let's build it here. Sure. That's fine. Absolutely fine. As long as we're not wasting, as long as we're not wasting resources, that's that's good with me. There we go. Plus 10. Fantastic. Uh, we got another plus 10 coming along very, very soon indeed. Maximum of 22. Maximum of 22. Well, let's let's go to the next. Let's go to the next cycle anyway. We'll see what this brings for us. What have you got? Pasture yields increased by one. Um, not a super useful time for that to happen. Not gonna lie. What do we want to get here? I mean, we can pretty much spend all of our cash, right? Well, we can spend a good chunk of it. So, what is this? A scally? Adjacent tiles, production build, uh, production buildings yield increased by one. Maximum building yields increased by one. Do we want to get that? First harvest of the year, of the year yields nothing. That's okay. So where do we want to build the scally? Probably here, right? Yeah, adjacent production buildings increased by one. Let's do that. What else can we get? Detrimental effects duration decreased by 30%. So yeah, that's exactly what I was talking about. That that duration effect um, would be decreased by 30%, the, the first harvest over winter. Beneficial uh, by 30% if we got that building, which is something that I'm interested in. Cash, not super bothered about a cash. The Sacred Grove, Homestead yield increased by one. Potentially. I think we go for the Scally. I think we go for the Scally right here because it's adjacent to the hunting camp and also to the woodcutter's uh, cottage area. So that's kind of nice. And we're going to go into winter with the maximum sort of prepared, which is really, really nice. The problem is, is that the harvest after... The harvest after winter is going to really suck um, because we're not going to get a single one. But we're going to be moving in with five. We've still got our blessing uh, or whatever it's called. We're going into year seven. What's the next upgrade for the farmstead? It's 20. It's 20. That's okay. Let's see if we can try and explore a little bit. It'd be nice if we had a second explorer to explore with, but we don't, so that's okay. That's fine. Come on. Why on earth is my exploring taking such a bleeding long time? That's fine. Uh, yeah, more tiles. Ooh. Maximum building yield decreased by one. Okay, that's a shame, but that's not the end of the world. A glacier? We can build a cache in the glacier. I actually don't think I care about the cache. I need to make sure that whatever I spend, I've got five left. So I think I want to build a... 
yeah, I want to build a grotto. Ah, I want to build a grotto because I want to get the thingy upgraded this turn. It's going to cost me 20 to do. It's going to cost me 20 to upgrade the uh, the great hall. I don't think I can do that. I think we need to I think we need to just spend on exploring this um this year. I really don't want to waste. I don't want to waste a good opportunity though, do I? Detrimental effect duration. Cash. This is actually this is good because this gives us a second sort of objective here, which There we go. Um, yeah, detrimental effect duration decreased. We need to build a seer, a healer, and a law speaker. Let's build a healer then. Sure, I'll build a healer. We'll do it. I mean, we're gonna get, we're gonna go slightly over capacity here, which is a little bit less than ideal, but my explorers can't explore any further. Uh, although maybe I should start to explore this area. That would probably be a good idea. Either way, let's see, let's see what happens. We at least, we at least have that, um, that reduction now, which is quite nice. We roll well again. It's, it's not a great roll, but it's not a terrible roll either. I think explorers, by the way, take longer the further away from the homestead that you actually go. So, yeah, yeah, totally, they do. So let's, let's do this. Let's do this. Brilliant. Explore. I think I'm going to let it go over. And then we're going to just upgrade. We're just going to sort of take the... We're just going to take the hit there and hope that that works. What do we got here? Exploration time decreased by 50%. We can afford to do up to five exploration. We can afford to do up to five exploration. Let's freaking do it. There we go. This is a great opportunity that we have here. There we go. And again, we don't want to go over the maximum. We're gonna, our maximum is gonna be increased just before we get the next harvest, which is great. Con uh, construction cannot be started. That's actually okay, because we've got the capacity. We've got the capacity to store all of our stuff. There we go, we can store up to 40. We're gonna get an extra 13. That's gonna take us up to 28. That is gonna take us over the limit. Let's continue to get that exploration benefit. There we go. And maybe one more. Ah, oh, no, it's, it's, just, uh, it's just finished. That's fine. Okay, that, you know what? That was a really, really great year. In terms of years, that was really, really good. 21. I'm very, very okay with that. Very, very, very okay with that. Uh, we're going to check out exactly what's going on here, and then we're going to see if we can try and get that um, secondary objective. We need a law speaker. A law speaker is this one. We will have the hearts. We will have the hearts soon. What's the next upgrades? 35. Okay, let's wait before uncovering this. Let's get the law speaker... Ooh, a tanner. Exploration time decreased by 50%. That's kind of huge. Winter's toll decreased by 50... by 5 even? Um, that's kind of huge. Let's get it, and then we'll get the- we'll get the law speaker next time. We'll get the law speaker next time, don't worry about it. Let's explore over here. We're gonna need almost three- we're gonna need almost three harvests worth to get up to that- to get up to that point. We- we actually legitimately need to start saving. That's good though, that's quality ground. That is given us- it's given us extra capacity there, that's good. That's good, that's good, that's good. Okay. But the good news is, is that we're not really in any rush to do anything. We do need to act. It's going to bring us down to 30. We're going to get 14. Uh, something that costs... 7? I mean, if I was to build this, let's do the maths on that. That would take me down to 22. 22 plus 14. Oh yeah, we should be totally fine. We should be totally fine. Yeah, that's good. Pasture yields decreased by five. Um, that's okay. That's okay. That's fine. I see, again, I'm. Not, I guess I'm not going to explore this until the next year. That's fine. That takes us up to 35. This is. Oh, this is. I mean, OP. This. This. This weaver here. I don't think we can build another one, but I would dearly love to build anything in the wetlands. Uh, a smithy production buildings yield increased by one. Hey, that's really good, actually. I should build that. I should build that next time. We'll do it. We'll do it. Okay, that is honestly fantastic, and in fact, we're going to be able to build the smithy basically soon afterwards. Let's see what this is. Woodcutter yield increased by one. Hey, I mean, you know, no time like the present, I suppose. Let's get the smithy there. What do we need here? We need a seer. I don't think that we can build the seer on anything. Only buildable in highland and wetland. Yeah, we can build it specifically in specific areas. Sacred bog. Homestead yield increased by one. Reveal location of landmark. Homestead yield increased by one. 
Okay, let's freaking do it. Let's freaking do it. Let's let's fantastic. Let's let's go. Let's go in. Builders are all busy at the moment. Then let's send out an explorer. I am not worried. We got lots of stuff. We got lots of stuff. We got lots and lots and lots of hearts coming in right now, which is brilliant. Lots of building. Anything that we can build in the glacier, we can't see at the moment because we're building a seer, literally. Okay, good. Oh my goodness gracious me. What is the maximum? Yields four per harvest. Yields... Base yield is one. Woodcutter yield increased by one. From unbuilt tiles to production tile yield increased by four. It's just fantastic. It's <laughs> it's five hearts from that, from that woodland tile. That is brilliant. Okay, upgrade cost increased by five. That sucks hard, actually, because one of the options that I did have this turn specifically was getting... Um, was getting the Great Hall progressed. I don't think I can do that anymore. Construction cost decreased by two. Uh, let's actually build that. Let's build that. There's no reason that we can't. And let's build this here. We're still going to have more than enough. In fact, we are like massively going to go over capacity in terms of our in terms of our hearts. But I think that's the only way that we that we have to to secure winter, which is fine. Uh, will you allow me to build? Yes, you'll allow me to build some pretty unique tiles here. Now we can't build the same tile twice. Should have maybe pointed that out. Fisherman yield increased by two. That's very, very nice. Gain one, one heart per three left after winter's toll. Uh, that is freaking fantastic, but I can't build it right now. Actually, that's a complete lie. I absolutely can start it right now, and I'm going to start it right now. But we're going to have to wait. Uh, good. Okay, I would really like to get the hall upgraded this year. I feel like we can't really put it off much longer. We've still got... Oh, look at that. We got a second... Um, We got a second... Uh, legendary spell. Let's explore out here. Right, what else do we want to do with building? Anything that we can build in the highlands? Homestead yield increased. Uh, it requires a quality tile. Only buildable in highland. Uh, well, we can build that over here. We can build that sacred ravine over here. It's probably going to lower production somewhere, but I mean, if it increases homestead yield, it'll be worth it. Let's take this right now. Gain three, gain three hearts. Shelter from the storm. I mean, it's decent, I suppose. I really need more space to build on. Let's get this upgraded. This is maybe a bit of a frivolous idea, but let's do it. Let's get the let's get the upgrade. Uh Oh my lordy, it's costing me upgrade cost increased by 5. That sucks. Well, that's actually not a big not a big deal because we just we just bought the upgrade. Uh Holy cow. That's a Oh, that's a landmark, isn't it? Oh, yeah, I didn't see that. The Aurora Borealis. Oh, we've got the unexplored area over here. Okay, well, when the explorers have finished exploring over there, we'll we'll move out and change things around. Can I build anything else? No, but we've now got up to 60 capacity, which is beautiful. Love to see it. Let's move out over... Let's move out over to here. I'm really curious to see what happens. We should be fine for this one. Excellent. Fantastic. Love to see it. That's actually really, really good. Wharf gained five hearts? It's literally free real estate right now. Okay, can we get a shipbuilder here as well? Fisherman yield increased by two. Uh, I'm going to instantly build that shipbuilder. And then I really want to get... I would really want to gain more explorers. It's going to cost me six hearts to explore over here. That That's a lot of hearts. The cash increased capacity by one. Anything else in the highlands that we can build? No kiln we can't build anything over there in the woodlands we can build a sacred grove which we've already built over here oh no we've built a sacred ravine we haven't built a sacred grove yet glacier we can build caches sacred grove it needs to be a quality tile so we can do that over here then sure okay the shipbuilder's been built that's great too still nothing that we can do in the highland yeah, I mean, the only thing, literally the only thing that we can build, 55 hearts is what we need. Do we go for it? I feel like maybe we do go for it. I don't know why I did, I don't know why I did that over there. I should be, I should be going up here. We need to get us, we need to get another explorer if that's possible. Uh, I think maybe we just sort of take the, I think we maybe just sort of take the hit on going massively overboard. Construction cannot be started. Okay, look, that's, that's not the hugest problem in the world. Explore up here. What do we got? Builders increased by one. Um, I mean, that's really, really useful. 
but construction oh no construction can be started now look i'm not particularly i'm not particularly perturbed by it 10 hearts for free it's literally a third of what we're enduring that is so so good okay i am going to get the final upgrade what is this um providence settlers start with a homestead sacred bog sacred grove sacred ravine sacred meadow I mean, we can absolutely do that. A tanner exploration time decreased. Quality grassland. I'm going to take the sacred meadow. Sacred bog. Production buildings yields decreased by two. Okay. Uh, that's a huge... That's a huge L, so to speak. But that's okay. It's going to be done soon. And let's get this explored over here. It's going to take 11 turns to explore, but I think it's going to be worthwhile. Right, I think next year we should be able to we should be able to fully get things done. I really just want to see what's behind this explored uh, this unexplored area. I just I wish there was more like I wish there was more building space. I wish I had another um, explorer because that would be so useful right now. I think that is a clan bonus that you can get. Don't get me wrong. Right. Uh, lots of inefficiency the last couple of years, but to be fair, we're making so much, we're making so much, so much heart currency. Oh, look at that. 23. Look at that. The, <laughs> we rolled just about the best possible year. Then we get 20 from the wharf. Holy cow, that is sick as all heck. I freaking love it. Really, really good. Come on, come on, come on. I want to, I want to, I want to see what's over at this objective place here. You know what? We'll start the process of upgrading the uh, the longhouse. Sure. We need to get a sacred bog. What's this? Achievement unlocked. Discovery. Find a landmark. Exploration time decreased by 25%. Hey, that's really nice. That's really nice. I'm still looking for a sacred bog, though. Or a, a place for a sacred bog. A death in the clan. Lose one heart. I think we can just about stomach that. Either way, we're about to get the longhouse upgraded to a great hall, which is very, very exciting. Still no sign of a, a sacred grove. Still no sacred bog. Still no sacred bog. That's a bit unfortunate. But at the end of the day, uh, the region has been settled. Fantastic. We actually did it. That is wonderful, eh? Um, we got some achievements. That's brilliant. That is excellent. And look at that. We haven't, um, we haven't, uh, we haven't settled the whole thing. Oh, look at that. We get to keep it. It's like a, it's like a, it's like a little bit of meta progression there, uh, which is very, very cool. So yeah, we build up this saga, right? We build up the saga and we can settle, look at that. We can settle, we can settle another, we can settle another region in, uh, another playthrough, which is very, very cool indeed. I freaking love that. Um, settling different areas gives us, gives us different, uh, different rewards. Again, you know, we can settle with different clans. Uh, it's a few clans that aren't available, but that's kind of to be expected. I mean, how unbelievably, how unbelievably cool is that? Oh, we can't even select our original clan because we've already settled it. How unbelievably cool is that? We're not going to do another one, but, um, that is fantastic. Um, that is really, really, really good. Uh, honestly, ladies and gents, I can't wait until this comes out. Uh, land, Nama, very, very cool. Just in the, the sort of alpha stage at the moment, as you can probably see throughout. But this is a very, very promising title, and I really cannot wait until it until it uh, until it releases. It's gonna be really, really good. Very simple, very unique. Um, feels really, really nice to play. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, thank you ever so much for watching. My name, of course, has been Open Potato. Check out the Patreon if you're interested in helping make videos like this possible. But for now, and for me, I'll see you next time. Bye.